you know what is the problem? The problem is, you people, you look unto a pastor than God. Can I say that again? Can I say it? Can I say it again? We are living in a time where the church, which is you, doesn't focus on God and look unto God. It focuses on the pastor. Hey, let me repeat that. Huh? Are, them, are you hearing that, Mama? Huh? We are living in a time where the church is moving away from God. Their focus now is on a pastor. Their help is coming from a pastor. Huh? Imagine you've got so much faith in a pastor than believing in God. Huh? Tell your neighbor, say, from today, from today can, you can you fix your eyes unto God? A pastor is a human being. Called by God. Called by God. Maybe I should say that for the last time. We are living in a time where our churches are forgetting about God now. And God is here. Hmm, sister? God is here. He's looking at you. You are looking where? On a pastor who can't do anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe if I tell pastors they will understand what I'm trying to say. Hey, pastors, I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Huh? This is the time you teach your people in the church to, to, to move their eyes from you. There's nothing that you will do for them. I thought you would clap hands for that. <laughs> Can I tell you for the last time? From today, Go, go and tell your people to move their eyes from you. Amen. And they must fix their eyes on God. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. You are just a vessel that God is using. Anytime, anything can happen. Anyone can reject it in any minute. Yes. Huh? Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. I'm saying anyone can be rejected in any minute. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm trying to say. Before I speak with you, I thought I, I could tell you this. Because if our generation now can learn to fear God and stop saying, hey, my pastor, hey, my pastor, hey, my pastor this, hey, my pastor Bulawa, hey, you're, you're, you're missing the blessings of God. Because Jesus Christ, he said, you, you can do nothing. That's what he said. He said, you, you can do nothing if I'm not there. Nothing. I, I laugh a lot when I see young people you know, casting out demons thinking that they're anointed. You, you don't measure your anointing by casting out a demon. Can I tell you? The casting of a demon is an authority that God gave to all Christians. Should I say it again? Huh? I'm sure I'm telling you something. Huh? The casting of a demon is not for prophets and apostles and teachers and pastors only. No. It's an authority that is given to all Christians. As long as you're a Christian, you believe in God. You've got the power to say, hey, you, come out. I'm sure I'm telling you something. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. If you're hearing me, can you wave your hand? If you're hearing me, can, can you wave your hand? Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Are you understanding it? Yeah. So now from today, can you focus on God? Yeah. Because pastors will disappoint you one day. Are you hearing me? Yeah. The prophet that you trust so much will disappoint you one day. I'm telling you. You'll be so much disappointed 
<laughs> you know, I, I got a message. I don't normally check. I'm coming to you now. I'll be speaking with you. Just allow me to say something. We're going to be closing in 15 minutes. I think it's late already. I got a message from another a lady from a very well-known church. And she said to me, I was reading a message. She said, hey, please, don't tell anyone about this. A very well-known. Uh, and she said, we have been held like a hostage. We can't think for ourselves. Even though we can see the wrong things that are being done in the church. But we are still here. And in my heart I was like, why are you not running away for your soul? The problem is, their focus is very much wrong. You are looking unto a pastor as if a pastor is your God. Forgetting that the very same pastor is representing the Holy Spirit. Are you hearing me? Delivering what he needs to deliver to you. A pastor is like a vessel that any time God can say, I'm tired with you. I don't want to use you again. Let me choose that one. Are you hearing me? So now from today, tell your neighbor, say, I want to move my eyes to God. Can you tell your neighbor again? Tell your neighbor again. I, want to move my eyes. I mean, Daddy has been telling you that pastors, they will disappoint you. Are they not doing that? Huh? They are doing it. You can look at me today, I can be your role model. I know I'm a role model of many people, more especially from outside. But one day I can disappoint them. So now, never put your trust in a man, but your trust must be unto God. I'm closing it like that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.